Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Well, welcome to my 2014 Christmas holiday end of year special where I uh, take the time to reveal my top 30 hot sauces that I've reviewed this year. Now, I've reviewed a lot of hot sauces, but these are going to be the best of the best. And I just also like to take this time to uh, wish everybody a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to you and your family. And also just take this time to thank all of my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you are enjoying the channel. Uh, the channel has really grown this year, so I really do appreciate that. And i uh, also like to uh, take this time to thank a couple of people that have uh, sent me fresh peppers to review this year. There's been many people who've done that, and I thank you all. But especially I'd like to thank Jim Duffy of Refining Fire Chilies for all the fresh uh, pods uh, unique sweet varieties that he sent me to review this year and also Judy from pepperlover.com who sent me some uh, uh, very uh, flavorful uh, unique peppers and also some very hot ones as well so uh, thank you guys for doing that so uh, let's go ahead and without further ado and get into this now I decided to uh, up this uh, by five instead of reviewing the tw top 25 like I did last year I'm gonna do uh, 30 for this year I review a lot of products and I'm focused mainly on hot sauces. So this is what this is about. I do a lot of condiment reviews, salsa reviews, uh, srirachas and things like that. But I'm just sticking to the top 30 hot sauces. And uh, I noticed that there's six uh, companies that were uh, uh, repeats, uh, companies that were in the top 25 for last year. We've got some mild sauces. We've got some blazing hot sauces and everything in between. We've got thick and thin, we've got uh, savory sauces, vinegar, pepper-based sauces, uh, so, uh, and also thick, uh, complex uh, flavor profiles. So just a little bit of everything in this list, so there is really something for everybody. And before I get started, this is the holiday season, so uh, to keep my mouth from getting dry, I thought I'd bring a glass of Zinfandel with me. Hope you don't mind. All right. I'm going to be doing a lot of talking. Oh, that tastes good. Okay, let's start it off. Now, these are in alphabetical order. Uh, number one is a very unique company from Orlando, Florida. Um, this is Armando E. Jorge's Orlando and Hot Sauce. Now, they did send me a couple to review, uh, Goofy Boots and Uncle Mills, and I have to give this one to uh, Uncle Mills. It is just a fantastic uh, hot sauce blended with uh, bananas, habaneros, jalapenos, it is excellent on Cuban uh, sandwiches and also on coleslaw, so an excellent sauce. Number two is uh, from Barry Wood. He is the owner from Nevada of B-Dubs Desert Inferno Sweet Heat Hot Sauces. He uses ghost peppers in all of his hot sauces. He knows the name is appropriate. Uh, they are sweet and they are hot. And I'm going to award this one to... Uh, the Sweet Heat Inferno Hot Sauce, uh, which is uh, the hottest one. He does have a chocolate hot sauce as well. Just fantastic the way he blends uh, the sweetness and the heat and uses the ghost pepper. And the more I use those sauces, uh, the more I became addicted to them. Just awesome stuff. Number three goes to Barron's International Kitchen. Um, Teresa's uh, Caribbean Hot Sauce is just a truly authentic recipe. The thing that really stands out to me about this hot sauce is the fresh cucumbers that are in it. Garlic, mustard, white wine vinegar. It's incredible. Highly recommended. Number four goes to Jeremy Walsh of Big Fats. Now, um, Jeremy, I call him the master of spices. He really does know how to blend spices. He just loves doing that to see what he can uh, come up with. Uh, he's got the numbered hot sauces, as you might know, one of eight all the way to eight of eight. Excellent hot sauces. My favorite happens to be seven of eight. But he's also really thinking outside the box or the bottle, if you will, for this year because he's come out with a, some unnumbered hot sauces. Sea of Green was just absolutely fantastic. But I'm giving this one to his latest creation called Double Dark. Uh, that is just a fantastic hot sauce with the... Um, I believe blackberries and sage is just incredible. So great job on that. Number five, uh, I think I did fail to mention there's two international sauces or two um, overseas sauces in this list. Number five is one of them. This goes to Big uh, Rob's Hot Sauce, specifically his Reaper. This is what I called uh, savory perfection in a bottle. Uh, Rob Wallace is located in Scotland. Just a, a awesome hot sauce, very savory hot sauce. 
Uh, number six is the Bori Pica Puerto Rican hot sauce from Mr. Chardo Mateo. Now the thing that makes this hot sauce is unique. Uh, a lot of people may not like it because it is uh, made with the culantro or the shadow benny. Um, the racal leaf, I believe is what it's called. It's a vinegar uh, pep uh, pickled peppers type of hot sauce. Uh, very true to a Puerto Rican pica uh, hot sauce, so just excellent, very good. And number seven, we have uh, Mr. Ed Buckholtz of Born to Hula. He's also got some fantastic hot sauces, but this latest one that he came out with is just incredible. It's using the Carolina Reapers, and it is called Reaper of Sorrow. Awesome, fantastic, a little bit tart. It is just awesome on um, seafood and... Uh, and uh, uh, oysters, fresh oysters, just incredible. And my mouth is already getting dry, so let me go ahead and take another drink here. Kind of had a little cold, so my eyes may be watering a little bit, so I apologize for that. Trying to fight through that. Okay, number eight. Uh, we go to a guy, uh, my friend here in the Charlotte, North Carolina area by the name of Brett Moray. And number eight goes to... Elijah's Extreme Ghost Pepper Sauce. Just an awesome blending of um, uh, the Naga Jalokia peppers. It is up front, a very strong Naga taste. Uh, just awesome. A little bit sweet, but very savory as well. And it's got some host or, or some uh, heat. It is truly a uh, ghost pepper sauce. Okay, number nine goes to Gringo Bandito, and I've reviewed their red and their green. I'm going to give this to the red. Uh, these are the creations of Mr. Dexter Holland. He is the front man of the punk rock band, The Offspring. Um, just an awesome uh, blending. If you like the Tex-Mex, if you like um, the uh, those type of sauces, uh, that uh, very savory Tex-Mex aroma, uh, then you'll really love these. And the thing that makes these, I think, really stand out is he uses mojo, in his recipe. If you don't know what that is, Google it. But I believe the mojo in his sauces is what gives this sauce its mojo. <laughs> All right. And number 10, we have Hellfire Hot Sauce. Now I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna give this to the Elixir. <clears throat> Just a fantastic hot sauce that Merle has created. Merle and Diana have done an awesome job. They have really had a fantastic year. They've changed up the recipes. They've changed up their labeling. And they're just really doing an awesome job. So that one goes to <coughs> the Elixir. All right. Number 11. This is a fantastic sauce for I think everybody knows who Steve Seabury is. This goes to High River Sauces. Get this name, Fufu Mama Chu. This is another sauce that uses the Carolina Reaper. This is a very flavorful sauce that uses roasted red peppers, fire roasted tomatoes, <coughs> Excuse me, it's got some soy sauce in it, it's got some ginger in it, so it's kind of got an Asian type flair to it, but it is incredible. All right, let me get another drink here. Okay, number 12. Now, if I get off here, you let me know. Number 12, Jack Jekyll Pepper Sauce. Uh, this is the creation of Adam Mocha. <clears throat> this is a very flavorful hot sauce. He's got a lot of them that I really like. I also really loved Jack Frost, uh, but I'm going to give this to the Red Soul. And he has got probably some of the best artwork, label artwork, and marketing on his website <clears throat> Excuse me, that you have ever seen. It is just phenomenal. Awesome job on that. His sauces are blended in such a way that it almost tastes like they have bacon in them. So it's just incredible. But once again, number 12, um, Jack Jekyll Pepper Sauce Red Soul. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> okay, number 13. This is going to go to Ken's Pepper Works. Ken Stringer, located in St. Louis, Missouri, has just created some very complex, rich uh, flavor profiles. And they are just all... Very, very good. Just incredible sauces. Um, but I'm going to award this to his Red Thunder. <clears throat> his use of tamarind in this sauce is just incredible. Just a really awesome sauce. Number 14. Now, this is the second one of this list that uh, come, is an international sauce. Comes up from me. Comes to me from Japan. And this is 
mellow habanero, and I'm going to give this to their mild um, habanero uh, pepper hot sauce. Mr. Taku Kondo, he owns a farm over there in Sasayama, Japan, with his family. Um, just a very cool guy. He's known, he created a, a kind of a caricature. He knows, he's known as the habanero man. He is sending his stuff out all over the world. Um, and I think a lot of people are really loving his stuff. Every single one of his products are fantastic. Um, okay, number 15. <coughs> we have Michael V's Texas X's. Now, for you chili heads, if you're looking for a blazing hot salsa style hot sauce, and if you're from Texas, I think you'll know what I mean. This stuff is incredible. It is blended with seven peppers, including about three super hots. Uh, it's got that fresh salsa type of flair to it in the uh, flask uh, type of bottle. So just awesome. Great job on that. <clears throat> Number 16. We have Miss Anna's hot sauces. Now these are based on an old recipe. It goes back a hundred years uh, to originating in St. Lucia. These are Caribbean hot sauces at their finest. I'm going to award this to the original one. All of them are very, very good. But the blending of mustard, the blending of blazing hot habanero peppers, curry, um, and other spices is just incredible. Very good uh, hot sauce. Okay, number 17. This stuff is amazing. I reviewed every single one of uh, Chef Andrew Garrett's products from NW Elixirs. I was blown away by every single one of them. They're all, I don't think I gave anything less than a nine, but I'm going to go with uh, his latest creation, number five, which is Hot Jalokia. That is a Butt Jalokia hot sauce. It is incredible. I love it. Uh, so uh, Chef Andrew from Portland, Oregon, um, <clears throat> he's just doing a fantastic job. Okay, <clears throat> let me get another drink here. I'm sorry about this, guys, but I wanted to get this done. But excuse me. <clears throat> okay, number 18, the Pucker Butt Pepper Company, Mr. Ed Curry, my friend right here in Fort Mill, South Carolina, <clears throat> creator of the world's largest pepper, the... Uh, Smoking Ed's Carolina Reaper. Um, I'm going to award this to uh, his Reaper sauce. Uh, just blazing hot, but it just really focuses on the flavor of the Carolina Reaper. Um, so that's that's the one I have for number 18 is Pucker Butts the Reaper sauce. Okay, number 19. Louisiana style pepper sauces at their finest. Something a little bit thicker. Something a little bit sweeter, very unique, and that's Red Snapper Hot Chili Pepper Sauces. And I'm going to award this one. They sent me three. This one goes to the Cajun Snapper. Um, the Louisiana style, a very cool story. Family recipe going back to uh, 1895. Number 20, formerly known as Dave's Foods. This is from my friend Dave Ritterbush of Seafire Gourmet. <clears throat> and I'm going to award this to his classic habanero. His uh, sweet spicy girl, his hot spicy girl are just flavor bombs, excellent sauces. But I was really impressed with his classic habanero. Very, very good sauce. <clears throat> okay, number 21, Scorpion Gourmet Hot Sauce. And um, they, they have a mild, a medium, and the hot. Basically the same flavor profile, just increased heat. But I'll give it to the hot one. They are known as the, the Sophisticated Sting. Very smooth, very bold hot sauce. It's very flavorful, uh, made up of carrots, scotch bonnets, and mangoes. So just awesome. Number 22, Scott and Susie Owens. <clears throat> now, I remember when I first reviewed Scott and Susie sauces uh, last year and uh, have just kind of watched them. It seems like they're doing everything right. Uh, so congratulations, Scott and Susie, for everything that you're doing. And I was talking with Susie the other day, and I think 2015 is going to be a, another incredible year for uh, Scotty O'Hotty. But I'm going to award this one uh, to their beer bacon chipotle. Phenomenal. <clears throat> Just an awesome job. When you create a sauce using the three major food groups of, of beer, bacon, and chipotle, um, it just creates an outstanding hot sauce. Their Reaper Muerte is also incredible and one of the hotter uh, Carolina Reaper sauces that has come out this year other than Ed Curry stuff of course 
Okay, number 23, <clears throat> another uh, Caribbean hot sauce. This is a flavor bomb. Incredible stuff. This goes to Smackison's St. Croix style pepper sauce. These are sent to me from uh, fellow veterans, uh, Reginald and Darlene Knight, uh, and they're located in Virginia. Fantastic sauce. Number 24. Now this goes to my friend uh, Patrick Tolbert in Denver, Colorado. And this goes to Smoke Brands Hot Pepper Sauce. Now, this is a very simple sauce, but it's incredible. It's one of those vinegar-based pepper sauces. So if you don't like vinegar, you're not going to like it. But it's made with apple cider vinegar, and it is using, uh, I believe, fresh habano peppers and dried butchalokia peppers and a little bit of salt. That is it, but it is incredible. A very flavorful sauce, and it is awesome on pizza. And if you haven't checked out his uh, whiskey glaze, you're really missing out. That's incredible as well. Okay, number 25. Uh, this is probably the uh, most uh, commercial-based uh, hot sauce of all of these, and that's Tabanero. This stuff is incredible. If you don't like vinegar, you're going to love Tabanero. If you don't want vinegar in a hot sauce, you're going to love Tabanero. Uh, originating from Tabasco, Mexico, uh, there in the Yukon Peninsula, I believe, using uh, habanero peppers grown in Tabasco, Mexico. That's where they get the name Tabanero. Uh, they don't use vinegar, but they use key lime juice and agave nectar and uh, grape seed um, extract, I believe. Very, very good sauce. Very flavorful. Okay, number 26. Getting near the end here. Um, this is what I call <coughs> fermented habanero perfection. <coughs> Excuse me. This is from Mr. Dustin Sartoris of Texas Tears Habanero Sauce. Incredible. If you love the flavor of fermented peppers, then you're going to love this sauce. It is incredible. Okay, number 27, my buddy Tom Slosser of Tom's Royd Rippin' Hot Sauce. He came out with a Reaper sauce this year, and it's very, very good. One of my favorites, and it's called Crimson Reaper. Check it out. He did the label. He designed it. It is awesome. Number 28, another Caribbean-style uh, pepper sauce, and that is Trini Mike's Mango Gourmet Pepper Sauce. Now, what sets Trini Mike's apart is the true flavor of a, of a Caribbean hot sauce uh, with mustard and it uses shadow benny very very strong in shadow benny or culantro not cilantro but culantro so it's got that authentic Caribbean flavor incredible stuff number 29 almost done hang on guys number 29 volcanic peppers Mr. Timothy Bader of Omaha Nebraska has come up with some winners lately incredible job he's doing this one goes to his taco sauce. Uh, it is, it is just fantastic. Um, that uh, taco sauce in a bottle, excellent blending of cumin and taco seasoning, um, fresh taste, a little bit of sweetness. It is incredible. That's what you want to put on your Mexican food. And number 30, here we come to the end. Number 30 is from Mr. Tom Toth of Voodoo Chili Sauces and Salsa. Now what he did, he has taken the candy of the gods. Do you know what that is? That's bacon. And he has put it in a bottle and he has come up with an incredible hot sauce called Porcus Infernum. <coughs> it is just fantastic. So highly recommended. All right. Well, I got through this. Let me take another drink. A little bit harder than I thought, but I wanted to get it done. But uh, like I said, kind of have a cold, but anyway, I hope I didn't leave anything out. I'm going to put all of these in the description, but uh, guys, if you want to know what's the best out there the, of all the ones I reviewed, you just heard them. That's my top 30. All right, so congratulations to everybody, um, and once again, thank uh, all. Of, I want to thank all of my subscribers, wish everybody a very Merry Christmas uh, and a Happy New Year. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned for an exciting 2015. And until the next time, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.